10 minutes was all it took for me to fall for you. You were up there doing your thing and I was down here passing by with my head down, looking at this checkerboard floor, trying to figure out my next move in life. Little did I know that the moment I would look up and see your face, I would forget I was in this game of war. I wasn't thinking of my next move. I wasn't thinking you stopped my thoughts. God forbid you stopped my heart. Wait, yeah, you stopped my heart. So I leaped towards you and you pushed me away. No, you get it. You didn't want me. Give it time. You told me great things happen in time. So I did. I waited, sadly, not 10 minutes, but I waited weeks for you to give me an answer. I grew impatient and you saw that I was growing impatient. So you kissed me and with that kiss came a yes and with that yes came an us. Finally, you were mine. Underneath the happiness, I was scared. I entered a place where I saw people get lost and hurt. Love. With my confusion, I grew bitter, so I made a pros and cons list. Yes, a pros and cons list. Pro, you cared about me. Con, I felt like I had to babysit you. Pro, the neck kisses would make me melt. Con, I felt like I had a hole in my chest whenever I was around you. Pro, I could talk to you. Con, I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. I deserved to be happy. But you found a light in this mass of never-ending darkness. Yes, you found the good in me and the people around me. And frankly, I have never been more attracted for another trait than that. That you could find the hope in the hopeless. And soon the spark between us grew into a full-fledged flame. And as you were lighting my candle, yours went out. I thought I saved it. I was happy and you were quiet. I was open and you were judgmental. I was awake and you were tired. You're not feeling it anymore. How? You were the light that led this relationship through its dark times. How do you just drop a feeling? Well, I guess it was time to pull out Cupid's arrow and see that at the tip of it there was poison and that poison made you rot while it made me grow and you were jealous that it made, you, that it made me grow. And I guess it was time to see that it was all just fucked up overall. It was you who gave it all up. It was you who broke my heart. Instead of giving me a chance to fix things, you pushed me away. You wanted to save yourself, not me, not us. The worst part was that you couldn't even say any of this to my face. A text message did the slaughter, which made everything ten times harder. Because a text message stayed on my phone and I would reread it, searching for a better answer, trying to figure out, no, it's not the end. Maybe if I just didn't say this, or maybe if we just didn't kiss, things would have stayed the same. Until one day, my friend said, baby girl, he didn't deserve you. He never deserved you. And then I looked around and I saw the people that loved me and just like that, everything was clear. 10 minutes was all it took for you to break up with me, but it took me 10 seconds to end things with you. Yes.